Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So um, today we are starting to take a look at the uh, CNC router build that I'm doing. And here you can see some of the computer models that I made. And it's made from, uh, the, the frame is made from steel. And it's a pretty nice and heavy, heavy duty frame. Although I will have to say that compared to the uh, uh, compared to the uh, 3D model, the frame changed uh, during uh, manu during manufacturing slightly uh, uh, for the better, so it's going to be stronger and stiffer. But uh, overall, it uh, it sort of uh, kept its uh, shape that that I that I showed you in the in the, in the early part of the video. And uh, my logic for it was um, to have the center of gravity lower rather than higher um, to make the side pieces as stiff as possible. And uh, the connection pieces were also, um, sorry, the, the um, uh, router bed itself is going to be one of the main uh, fixing points. So it's going to be fixed with uh, eight bolts in total and um, that basically guarantees that the frame doesn't uh, vibrate or move or uh, jiggle around while, while cutting and uh, I weighed the, um, the frame up in the uh, model and the total weight of the frame was about a hundred and 60 kilos and when I weighed when it was done it was uh, sorry initially it was 140 kilos and when I weighed it up the final pieces were 155 kilos total and I'm using uh, 80 times 40 times uh, 3 millimeter steel tube on the bottoms and the top rail is 100 times 40 millimeters now they are pretty hefty tubes and since the uh, high wind linear rails are going to be mounted on the um, sides of the top rails, that sort of guarantees that um, that it's going to be a good mounting surface. It's going to be a strong mounting surface, and it's going to work pretty well. The drive itself is going to be um, rack and pinion. So we're going to have a module 1.5 uh, rack and um, we're going to have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, three Newton meter uh, NEMA 23 motors and it's going to have a reduction rate of two to one. So it has to make two turns of the motor to turn the gear, which uh, the, the uh, the pinion gear on the rack that's moving on the, the gear rack once. So I did some rough calculations and um, since we're going to have two motors on the gantry, moving the, the gantry, sorry, it's going to be uh, the, the maximum that it could do is around 4,500 uh, millimeters or four and a half meters a minute. Uh, on the uh, travel or feed rate and to be completely honest since it's going to be mostly used for wood and stuff like that um, it's going to be more than enough it's going to be very strong and possibly even strong enough just to cut a little bit of aluminum and um, the idea was that once the frame is set up, it's going to be bolted to the ground, so that sort of uh, keeps it from moving around and and uh, and vibrating vibrating as well. And um, when the whole frame is set up, when everything is working, tested, frame is painted, motors work, test cuts are done, test cuts are nice and uh, and uh, accurate, then the leg part of the uh, side piece or the, or the side frame is actually going to be filled with sand and I saw this uh, 
that saw it that it was done by um, this old Tony on his uh, CNC router build, which CNC is is very nice. I'm going to link it uh, in the in the uh, link here. And um, I was actually talking to a friend who did his finals thesis work on uh, vibration uh, uh, dampening, and he said that the, the that the be of course the be best way to do it is epoxy granite, because that has a ridiculous amount of uh, of uh, vibration uh, dampening capabilities, but sand is very cheap and it actually works. So it's probably going to be filled with sand, and that's going to give it some more weight. It's going to give it a, uh, a bit more uh, stability. Sorry, um, a vibration dampening possibility, and um, it's gonna make it nicer. So, um, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna leave you now, and um, I'm gonna do the next video in a few days, hopefully. And the uh, the frame for now. This is the the beginning of July. Right now the frame is done, but we're waiting for the new um, new location to open up so we can set the frame up there. Because um, we technically could set it up, but then we have to move it and I'm not really um, not, not really a fan of that. Right, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Enjoy the video.